It just looks like a floaty in a pot. Hey everyone, in today's video we are gonna go in build mode and find our favorite and least favorite items in Bloxburg. Let's get into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into every category and I'm gonna pick my favorite and least favorite item just accordingly to see what I actually like and hate. Okay, so the first category I see here, wait, let's go alphabetically maybe? Okay, so now I need to pick my favorite block box item and my least favorite block box item. I actually don't really have a problem with any of the block box items to be honest, but um, a favorite one to pick, definitely, yes, one of the cars, but I don't really have cars in my inventory and I don't wanna spend it, so let's find where the car is. <laughs> So all right, my favorite block box item at the moment would probably be the go-kart, even though I do love the Bloxus TS, but I am gonna go for the go-kart because at the moment that is my favorite one. Let's uh, place that one here and we're gonna put the one I dislike next to it. So back into the block box category. Um, if I have to pick one, it would probably be the luxury corner bath. I never really was a fan of that one. And just the fact that if you, my mailbox is so far away, that you have to place it against the wall and then the tap is really big and you have to like jump over the tap to get into the bath kind of triggers me even though I know that how it works basically but I would love if the tap was like here in the corner so that you would have an easier step into the bath and also some step would be nice to get into the bathtub but I don't really hate hate that bathtub but if I had to pick one item from the block box category that would probably be it. Then going to appliances. I quite like all of the appliances to be honest. I do feel like they each have their own use but if I have to pick the one I love most in here it would probably be the pro chef stove because it's been with us for years and people still use it because there's no better alternative. You still have the one that you can put in the cabinets but that only came a few months ago. This one has been with us for a very long time so let's put the pro chef stove in the good side. And then going back to appliances and I think my least favorite ones are like these pro chef cooktops so I'm gonna have to get a counter. The reason why I don't like them is very simple. They are expensive, but you can't really cook anything on them because for a lot of dishes you want to prepare in Bloxburg, you need a stove with an oven inside it and this one does not have an oven and sometimes when you're cooking or prepping a meal, it suddenly says bake and then you're like, wait, but I don't have an oven and then you need to remove that dish. So this is quite frustrating to me. That's why I'm gonna give this the least favorite. Then going to bets now in bets. I think my favorite and <laughs> this is quite weird, but I think my favorite is either the standard single bed or the industrial bed. Um, I like both options here with the standard single bed. I don't like the double version of it because the cushions are too far apart but it's either between the industrial one or the standard one. I think I'm gonna go for the standard one because and that's just because you can change a lot to the materials so you can change basically everything. I think you can do that with every bed, but still feels like more options here. The fact that you can create a wall and place it inside that wall, just, I don't know, I love that so much. And I feel like you have a lot more options with beds like these. Also, if you wanna place two of them right next to each other, you can do that. You can create some space in between. So that's why I love that a bed the most. And then my least favorite as for now would probably be the curved double bed. I used to use this one a lot because because it was modern and it was kind of like the only modern thing that we had. But now it kind of feels dated and I tend to use other beds and I never really go back to this one. Just because the shape is quite weird, like when you place it against the wall, I don't know, it just it's a little weird to me. And then we go to cabinets. I love all of the cabinets. My favorite ones would probably be the tall modern ones. And with that, probably the shelf cabinet because I like to add microwaves or coffee machines in there. So let's place that one here. The one I dislike the most in cabinets. I don't know, I kind of like all of them to be honest. But I'm gonna go for the tall arched cabinet because that is like an older style and I usually build modern houses and I don't really tend to use these ones. They remind me of how Houses from the 70s or like my grandma's house has these kind of cabinets kind of remind me of that. Then going into carpets, I'm gonna right away pick my least favorite one, which is the welcome mat. I want a normal carpet without a welcome on it that is this size, but 
not the welcome one because welcome you can only use that at your front door so the use of it is very very limited and that's why this is my least favorite and then my favorite would be the bathroom mat because I use that the most although I do like the simple carpet as well and the round carpet basically like all of these but I am gonna pick the bathroom mat because I do use that the most and you can create nice shapes with these so if you overlay them they create a little sign in them they also have that with the simple carpet but that's why I love this so much the welcome just because there's welcome on it feels like there's only one use for it then chairs oh my god this is a tough one uh, my favorite easy the stylish chair that is my favorite chair I always pick that one for houses I want to play in just because in real life I love those kind of chairs as well and you can paint them a little lighter and give them a lot of patterns and stuff like that so there's a lot of uses to them and my least favorite would probably be one of these two and I think I'm gonna go for the clear chair because let's be honest in real life glass chairs would probably not be as comfortable to sit on so I'm just gonna put that one here then we go into comfort my favorite one in comfort at the moment would probably be this tufted sofa because as I said before in previous videos I like to paint it in like a leather and give it a brown color and it makes me think of Chesterfield sofas and I love Chesterfield sofas and these two also go very well together and my least favorite tricky key. Probably one of the Ottomans. And I'm gonna go for the... Mm, this is hard. The simple Ottoman. Yes, they are a footrest, but let's be honest, when you go out of build mode and you go and sit in a couch, as you can see, your feet do not even come out of the couch, so there is no use for them. It would be nice if there was some kind of function that made it able to sit on them, but for now there's just no use for them except for decoration purposes, so that's why I put it in the dislike category. Then counters. My favorite one would probably be the modern counter with the shelves. Even though when you paint it it sometimes comes out as a different color because of the base material used for it and then my least favorite one I'm gonna go for the stylish counter because that was an OG one in the base game but as you can see it's one of the only ones without a plus sign next to it there's also no cabinets for it that fit so you're just kind of stuck to that counter now and it used to be a nice one to use but for now there are so many other counters with cabinets to it and other stuff to it that this one kind of became useless then for one second I'm gonna go into build mode and I'm gonna pick my favorite and least favorite windows because we have come to the curtain category. So my favorite would probably one of these industrial windows. I love the industrial style. That is, I love that so much. I'm gonna go for the one next to it because this one has too many squares and kind of can feel like a gel if you use a lot of them. So I'm gonna put that one. And then my least favorite would probably be the octagon window because if you add curtains to that, it kind of looks a little bit weird to me. So let's go into curtains. My favorite curtains are are probably the curved curtains and my least favorite ones well I do love the privacy blinds as well hmm this is a tough one though and my least favorite curtains maybe the plain shutters let's let's go for plain shutters and as you can see it looks quite weird when you add stuff to that I don't know you can't really do anything with it and then we have come to the biggest category which is a decorations and oof this has got to be a tough one I do love the new paintings that they added they are amazing and actually as for now I think the full wall painting is my favorite addition to decorations even though there might be something else that I love more for the moment this is probably my favorite one and then my least favorite hmm I found it but we do need a little table for it so my least favorite item probably I'm not sure there are so many decorations in the decorations tab is probably the cactus plant because it always looks like just a plastic blown up toy in a pot it does not look realistic at all compared to like the other plants that we have and I just never use it because of that because it just looks like a floaty in a pot to me <laughs> so yeah <laughs> then going to electronics my favorite item you know this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be I kind of like a lot of items in here but if I had to pick a favorite it would probably be the AccuSlim TV because that's a TV that's like just the right size and I like to use it in a lot of different spaces and my least favorite one would probably be one of these surround system thingies. Let's go for a subwoofer, for example, because I feel like they add no value to the game at all. I don't even know if they work. When you play music, they tend to go up and down a little bit though, but I feel like they're not doing anything to the gameplay and they're really expensive to buy. So that's why they are my least favorite. Then in garden, I love all of the garden stuff, you guys. It's gonna be so hard to pick one I hate. Cause I, I'm like, okay, I love this. I love the swings, love the gazebos, love the plants. I know. I finally found one. 
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick, as a favorite, I'm gonna pick the wooden swing. Just because I feel like this update brought a lot to gardening. A lot of people didn't have a garden before the gardening update, and now with swings and everything, people actually work on their garden, and that is something that is useful in the game. So definitely, yeah. That's my favorite. My least favorite item, how did I not think of that, is the large organic tree. To me, it feels like this does not match the style of the game at all. It is a stick, and when you compare it to other trees, they have much thicker barks, but then the top part is what I hate the most. They are just bushes stacked together to make a tree, and it is so ugly, it looks like poop to me, and that's why I barely ever use these trees, because they always remind me of a clump of poop. There was this game you could play where you turned into a cake and then you could go into someone's mouth and jump down and it turned you into a poop. That's what it reminds me of. So definitely dislike these trees. Then in household there's not much to dislike here so my favorite item would probably one of these two because they remind me of the sims 3 and I just love these. And my least favorite of all of these would probably be the stacked washer dryer. You can actually stack all of them. If I had to pick one it would probably be the stacked one but maybe for uh, laundry bars or whatever it could be be nice to have that. Then instruments, my favorite one would be the fine piano. Just majestic, love it. My least favorite one, that is tricky, but I'm gonna add a wall. <laughs> You're gonna see what I do in a second. I don't hate this one, but I have to pick a least favorite, so I'm gonna go for a classic piano. Just because of the shading on it, it's a little bit weird to me. Usually when I play that piano, I place it inside a wall so that it looks like a keyboard, but then behind that you need to like close that space off because a piano is coming through the wall. But if I play that one, I usually place it against the wall like that to make it look like a keyboard. Then lighting, my favorite light is probably the industrial floor lamp, even though I must say it does not give up off a lot of light. If you have that one you will have to add another light because it does not give off a lot of light. I do love the string lights as well. And my least favorite one is probably the lava lamp only due to the Roblox lighting update. A lava lamp should have funky colors but the thing is if you paint it in a very bright color you can barely see any of the lava. Also it paints your walls in the same color so it reflects on your wall so if your lamp is neon yellow or new yellow then your walls will have a bright yellow shine to them so so you have to be careful which colors to use on your lava lamp otherwise it will look just like a neon bar or whatever because it shines on your walls like that and having a funky color to it just kind of changes the environment next to it and it didn't used to do that but for now you can only go for like linen or other colors that don't really stand out too much because otherwise it will just be weird. Plumbing. Now we already went over the luxury corner bath. My favorite one would probably be the modern shower set. It is a very minimal. I love to paint it completely black and it just works so well in modern bathrooms. If you add a door, a sliding door next to it and stuff like that, it just gives you so many options to create custom showers and that is what I love about this shower set. My least favorite plumbing item is the basic shower. It reminds me of the starter house but also, and that is me, I hate, hate, hate shower curtains. They are nasty, they collect mold. I would never ever have a shower curtain in my house. Of course, of course, if you can't do it otherwise, then you have to have one. But if I had a shower like that, I would probably add plexi or something to the side so that water couldn't drop out. I would never have a shower curtain. I'm not scared of them. I just think they're very nasty and collect any type of bacteria, basically. <laughs> then pool items, of course, I will have to have a little pool for that. My favorite pool item would probably be the inner tube. Can I actually place it here? Okay, I can. Let's pick it up and place it. Where, where is it? It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Pool is full. Wait, where, where is my inner tube? Okay, I cannot pick it up anymore. Oh, here it is. Why is it on the bottom though? Let's cancel. Anyways, that is my favorite one because it's interactive. You can actually sit in it. If people walk on it, you start spinning like crazy. So it is fun to play around with that. Then this is very personal, but my least favorite is probably the evil duck or the epic duck. I don't hate them to be honest, but I have a story to tell with that one. <laughs> like when I first started playing Bloxburg, I was making a so-called mansion. Of course, it was very cheap because I was making very little money when I just started the game. And then I decided to finally spend all of my money on a pool. I had money left, so I decided to buy this epic duck. And then when I reloaded my house, what happened was the duck disappeared. I was so mad. I spent $9,000 on it and it disappeared. I was so, so mad that that happened. So never again. <laughs> 
Then storage, my favorite item would probably be the industrial wardrobe. Yes, we're still in the industrial theme, but then I'm gonna go for the industrial dresser because you can actually put stuff on top of the industrial dresser. I like to have some books or some perfume on top of that. My least favorite storage item would probably be this tilted shelf because you cannot add anything on top of it. I used to love it, but I tend to use it less and less because we are getting more stuff every single update. So I'm not really using that one anymore just because you can't add custom stuff to it, but they are still nice. And then the tables, oh, the tables. There are so many that I love and so many that I don't love. Uh, my favorite one would definitely be, let me find it, the industrial dining table, of course, industrial once again. My least favorite, I have a few though. Um, the verge table, I, I don't know. I kind of forgot about that one. I don't hate it, I don't love it. Don't really have an opinion about it. Um, I don't really like the transitional dining table, but that's just because that's not my style. Same with the round table here. My least favorite would probably be the arch dining table. It is quite old. I never really loved it because it kind of looks cheap to me. Then training. In training, my favorite item would probably be the soccer ball. Just because it's easy, you can place it in your garden and create a football field. It fills up the space easily. Uh, my least favorite one. I don't know. I, I don't think I have one here, but I'm going to go for the punching bag because I like to place that against the wall. But then when you start punching it, it goes through the wall like that. So you need to have some space for it. But also the fact that the top part is see-through, not really realistic in my eyes. And then we go to vehicles and I already went over it, but my favorite vehicle is probably the go-kart over here at the moment. I do love the convertible as well. My least favorite vehicle is the limousine. I always hated the limousine, the way it drives. You have to make really wide turns with it, but if you have a big family, it is very useful, but it's just not for me. I hate the limousine. And these were all of the decorate categories. It was quite a lot. Let's go over it once again. So these are all of my least favorites on the right and my favorites on the left. I kind of explained to why I love or hate some of the items. Some have personal stories to them like the rubber ducky here but of course I don't hate it. I just never place it anymore because of my experience with it. But that was it for today. Let me know if you want me to do the build category as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.